Mrs. John F. Kennedy accompanies Secret Service agent Clinton J. Hill and his family to ceremonies in Washington. Secretary of the Treasury Douglas Dillon acts for the nation as he commends Mr. Hill for his heroism during those tragic moments in Dallas when President Kennedy was assassinated. The agent is presented with the Treasury's gold medal. During those horrible moments in Dallas, he jumped onto the President's car to shield the President and his wife. The next day, in the White House Rose Garden, President Johnson cites another Secret Service hero. He is Rufus Youngblood, who also distinguished himself in Dallas. He was riding in Mr. Johnson's car when the shooting began. He leaped into the back seat, pushed the vice president to the floor, and shielded him with his own body. He acted in the fine traditions of the Secret Service that draws high praise from the president. There is no more heroic act than offering your life to save another. And in that awful moment of confusion, when all about him were losing their heads, Rufus Youngblood uh, never lost his. Without hesitation, he volunteered his life to save mine. Nothing makes a man feel better than being an American than to be witness to this kind of uh, noble patriotism. Clinton Hill and Rufus Youngblood, two men who did not hesitate to offer their own lives in protecting the nation's leaders. They wrote a bright page in the dark chapter that was Dallas. <laughs>